to ask me a rhetorical question. <laughs> uh, having a good time tonight? Good, fine, let's piss that off then. I did notice, uh, oh, there's no time for that, there's no time for that. Racing through our bits tonight. Good evening, just slow down and sort of make eye contact with everyone. Oh, English people, hello, how are you? <laughs> just a uh, stab in the dark, suddenly blokes not looking me in the eye, there you go. And our friend from America, do I understand we have a friend from America overseas? Woo! Yeah, okay, fantastic. Good, good on you. Welcome. Welcome and all of that insincere stuff. Um, <laughs> I think you'll enjoy it here, not only our American friend, but also our English buddies, if I could speak bullshit for a moment, because... Uh, I don't know what you're doing here during English summer. It's not cricket season, is it? <laughs> not for the English, but... Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know that was a cheap shot, but there's like six of you and 300 of them, so what do you fucking reckon? <laughs> and, and I saw a Sally Jesse Raphael show the other day entitled Parents on the Run. What? I'd love watching these shows during the day. Thank God for the Americans and giving us this entertainment during the day, but for us actors, we're not doing much during the day, of course. We're rich in time and fucking broke in money, but never mind. <laughs> We are rich in time and that's good and I'll use that, I'll watch these lovely shows during the day, Sally Jesse and, and Opera and all of those and our oh, parents on the run, how the fuck do they find these people? <laughs> this wasn't just a show, a television show, an international television show about criminals on the run, this was that rather specific subset of criminals on the run who have kids with them, <laughs> who obviously thought they could stop the run for about half an hour and have a bit of a fucking chat to Opera, fantastic. <laughs> what? They can't be on the run very hard, can they? I saw another one of those about three years ago now called Sally Jesse Raphael, I think this one was, and poor old Sally, she gets the weirdos, doesn't she? This was an entire television program, and I'm not, not a word of a lie, called People Who Are Too Ugly To Leave The House. <laughs> now, they had a whole show devoted to people who suffered from apparently what the Americans call IUD, Imagined Ugliness Disorder. Fucking <laughs> wankers, come on! I mean, really, not a lot of imagination, fair bit of disorder was being displayed, but I just can't understand. You'd never get Australian men on a show like that, would you? Imagine us getting up on telly, going, yeah, g'day, my name's Barry, I'm an ugly dog, how are you? <laughs> oh, yeah, your face like a horse's ass, me. <laughs> Heck, you know, I haven't had a root in ten years, so there you go. I, you wouldn't get Australian men. To get Australian men on telly, you'd probably have to call the chat show, Everyone Likes Me, and I've got a big dick. And then you go, hey, you know. Hey, how are you? My name's Barry, this is Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it, you know. And I think that's why when wh whichever God there is put the world together, he or she decreed that men don't have to worry about fashion. Because frankly, we've got too much to worry about with jobs and sport. We can't fit fashion in as well. <laughs> Look around you, I think I can prove my case by just looking around the room. And you people have gone out, for God's sake, but I mean, it's true. We don't care. I've never seen anything that a man does that's more annoying to a woman than, for example, going into a jean shop, wanting a pair of black jeans, seeing a pair, buying them and fucking off. <laughs> and women standing there going, no, 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 wrong, wrong, wrong. You've got to try it on, go to the next shop, try that on, go to the next shop. You're not doing it properly. But we don't care, you know. Fits, it'll do, fine. And it's black, wow. Um, I mean, if a man says to you, oh, I've got nothing to wear, he's probably got nothing to wear. <laughs> it's, it's bald faced truth. It's not some fashion statement. It's not a, a hint for a new outfit. It's because every item of clothing he owns is standing by itself in a corner of the room. <laughs> you, you know? I know blokes who'll go out and buy a new t-shirt rather than do a fucking wash, it's that sort of thing. <laughs> so even these days of hopefully getting a bit closer to sexual equality, a man and a woman go to a party, woman looks around the room, sees another woman dressed exactly the same as she is, and there could be a bit of angst there. But the man next to her, he looks around the room, sees three blokes dressed exactly the same as he is, <laughs> she fucking beauty, I wore the right thing, fantastic. <laughs> oh, fuck. Give it a fantastic audience. I hope to see you again sometime. My name's Simon Rogers. Good night.